brown marmorated stink bugs. They've been punishing our plants. They've been vandalizing our vegetables. And guess what? The horde is on my sunflowers. Pretty soon, these guys are coming in my house. Hi, I'm the bug guy here for University of Maryland Extension. Today, I'm going to talk about E squared, the exclusion and execution of stink bugs in and around your house. Let's go see how these guys are getting in. These stink bugs are diabolically clever at getting inside. I know this screen is in good shape. I bet there's something wrong with my weather stripping. Even the smallest crack is gonna let these rascals in. Let's see what's up. Ah, oh, it's just as I thought. This weather stripping has slipped out. I'm gonna push that up. That looks nice and tight. That'll keep those rascals out. These soffit vents are too small to let stink bugs in, but hey, look at this crack. It's giant. Stink bugs are gonna get in there. I'm gonna have to caulk this baby up. Another way these guys get in houses is where utilities pass in and out. Look at this utility box right here. This is really loose. This is gonna be like a highway for stink bugs. But you know what? A little bit of this foam is going to keep these guys out. Stink bugs love the attic. Just look at the size of the holes in this screen. You could drive a Mack truck through there. I'm going to have to get back up here with window grade screening, put it here, put it on the gable end vents. That'll help keep the stink bugs out. Air conditioners, whether they're in windows or in walls, can really let in a lot of stink bugs. There's a lot of gaps around them. You gotta caulk these things up, get a cover, put it over the air conditioner. That'll keep them from getting through. The other thing you can do if you have stink bugs is buy a stink bug trap. These traps will really capture and kill a lot of stink bugs. We've talked about trapping. We've talked about exclusion. Let's see how we're going to execute stink bugs once they get inside the house. Hey, let's face it, you're going to get a couple stink bugs in your house, but don't freak out. These guys aren't going to breathe. They're not going to bite you or your kids. Now it's time to catch these things and execute them. You can make a pretty simple stink bug trap with a water bottle. You cut off the top, you turn it over, it makes a funnel. Then all you have to do is take it, place it underneath the stink bugs, and the stink bugs are going to fall right in there. Sometimes there are just too many stink bugs to catch in a bottle. It'd be much easier to simply get these guys in the vacuum. All right, we got a vacuum full of stink bugs. What are we gonna do with them? I'll show you what not to do first. Dropping them down the toilet. You're going to waste a lot of water doing this. I have a more environmentally sound way to execute stink bugs. Here's an easy way to annihilate stink bugs. Once you got them in your little trap, put them in a Ziploc bag, seal it up, toss it in the freezer for a couple of days. That'll chill them out. And for all those stink bugs we caught in the vacuum, we're gonna see how well these guys can swim in a bucket of soapy water. Woo, not very well. And for the frozen stink bugs, I got other plans for these guys. For the little stink bugs I caught in my trap, you can either return them to where they came from, just drop them on the ground, or in this case, I'm gonna dump them in my compost pile. So next time, before you come in my house, you better think before you stink.